This week on Tabletop Witchcraft, we're crafting a blacksmith workbench and tanning rack along with a quenching bucket out of solid pieces of XPS foam. Then we're going to decorate them with swords, shields, and more that I've made out of green stuff. Hey there, welcome back to Tabletop Witchcraft. This week, we're making blacksmith scatter terrain out of solid pieces of XPS foam. We're gonna make a workbench, a tanning rack, and a quenching bucket. It's a great beginner project, and although I do use a proxy on the video, you could totally get away with just using an alpha knife. Now the workbench can be turned into an alchemist table simply by getting rid of the swords and shields and replacing them with candles and books and potions. If you don't wanna craft that stuff out of green stuff, you can go online and buy all those little pieces separately. Now the tanning rack might be a little bit more complicated, but that's nothing you can't handle. All right, go grab some supplies and let's get crafting. Okay, so if you'd like, head over to DriveThruRPG. You can print off a little set of plans here that'll help make this build a little bit easier. Um, to print those off and just trace the stencil off for the workbench. And then using a proxon, you can make all these cuts here The Proxon definitely makes it a lot easier. Um, you know, you could do some of these cuts with um, maybe a hot wire knife, um, maybe an alpha, but again, the Proxon is the, the best way to go. Then go ahead and draw on your line work for all of your lumber for the bench. And I just use a pen to, to mark all this out. We're making this whole thing out of one solid piece of XPS, so it'll be a lot more solid than individual pieces. Should look something like that. Now we'll go ahead and um, use this clay sculpting tool to add some nail holes. I love this tool. I use it in just about every build um, that I uh, that I make. Now I'll add some pegs here to hang our tools from. If you're interested in any of these tools that I use, I'll have a link uh, in the description below to uh, Amazon so you can check out the exact items that I'm using. Um, next, we'll just mod podge the whole thing black. That's Mod Podge, water, and a little bit of black paint. Paint it brown, dark brown. And now I'm giving it a pretty heavy dry brush of a medium brown. Then go ahead and wash it, let that dry. And then I'm using a Vallejo wash. And then we'll do some edge highlighting here with a, a very light brown. Make sure to get all the edges, get the top of the workbench, pick out all the areas where the light would be hitting it pretty much, you know, at a 45 degree angle. Now we're gonna work with some tools. This is just a, a skeleton from a, a craft store or dollar store. We're gonna take the, uh, the ax from him. And here's just a bunch of stuff that I made with green stuff. I sculpted a bear pelt. We're gonna use that on the next build here in the video. But I did got a shield, some horseshoes, a sword. And we have an anvil as well. So we're gonna go ahead and base all those black. If you'd like me to uh, show you how to make this stuff in the videos, just leave a comment in the description and uh, you know I'll do my green stuff sculpting in the video as well. Now we'll go ahead and paint the bear pelt, all the pieces, the sword, the shield, all the horseshoes. You know, pick colors that you like. I'm, I'm going with a little bit of a darker pelt here because the frame here in a minute it's going to be pretty, uh, it's going to be brown. I don't want it all to seem like the same color. Now with just a little bit of tacky glue, we're going to go ahead and uh, place all the tools and equipment on his workbench. So we got that axe from the skeleton. We took a little bit of cooking twine and uh, just made a little bundle of rope here that we're going to hang from the, the workbench. And then we're going to go ahead and hang a few uh, horseshoes from one of these pegs as well. And I used like a gunmetal color on them, gave them a, a black wash with uh, nulling oil. And then uh, just a little light brush, uh, dry brush with some silver. And here's the anvil that I made. This we're going to just do a little bit of hot glue. Didn't feel like uh, waiting for that to set up with the tacky glue. So just a little bit on there and stick that in the, the corner of the, the workbench. 
and I just painted that black with some edge highlighting with some lighter gray. Then next we'll use some tacky glue and we'll glue down that sword that we made. And you know, you could use Reaper um, parts here, swords and, and shields and stuff like that if you don't want to sculpt this stuff. Here's a shield that I had made out of the green stuff. And don't worry too much about cleaning up all that glue. You're never going to see it once it dries. You know, get up some, what you can, but don't, don't go crazy. And then next here, we're going to go ahead and throw a few more horseshoes on the, the workbench. Next, we'll grab the plans for the, uh, this uh, section here for the, uh, the tan um, board here to stretch it out. Just use the Proxon to make these cuts. Again, we're going to make it out of a solid piece of XPS to make it a little bit more sturdy. Using an a, uh, X-Acto, we'll cut that square out and then cut the uh, corner bracing out. Now again, back to this uh, clay sculpting tool. We're going to score out a couple of uh, circular areas on the bottom where we're going to insert some washers to add some weight to this piece. And we'll fix those with just a little bit of hot glue. And I'm doubling these up, so there's actually four washers in the bottom uh, of this right here. And if you can um, find this stuff at a salvage shop, it's a lot cheaper than going to, you know, the big box hardware stores picking them up. Now we'll go ahead and dry our, our lumber, our line work. We'll uh, put some wood grain in here, a couple of nail holes in the corners. And like we added uh, on the workbench, we're going to just take some more toothpicks here for some pegs. And we're going to insert those uh, into six locations around this uh, board here, this tanning board. And those locations are marked out on the plans if you go grab those. Again, those are free over on Drive Through RPG. Okay, then we'll go ahead with a medium brown. We'll paint the whole thing brown after we've put a little Mod Podge mixture on it, like we did with the uh, workbench. Okay, now we'll take some more of that cooking twine, and uh, I'm just using a glove here so I don't get all of my fingers, but rub some uh, brown paint into it to paint that up. And then I poked a hole into my hide, and I'm actually going to thread on six locations around the hide this uh, this cooking twine. And as you can see on this one corner, it actually broke through, no big deal. We'll just wrap it around, and uh, a little touch of super glue to hold it in place. And um, you'll never even notice. I ended up touching this up a little bit after I was all done stretching it out on the board. So now we'll go ahead and wrap these around the pegs. And we're just going to do a little dab of super glue on the peg uh, just to hold it in place. And uh, yeah, definitely tweezers here for this part. And I like to leave a little bit of that rope um, hanging. Uh, it just makes it look a little bit better than having it completely wrapped and, and tight to that peg. You'll see there's a little tag end left on each one of them. Now we're just going to make a little uh, trough or a little bucket or whatever for uh, quenching the steel from the forge, from the blacksmith. Just cut this design out of some foam. And then go in about... Um, I'd say an eighth of an inch around the perimeter and um, using the technique of scoring it out with an X-Acto, um, score it out and dig it out uh, with that clay tool. Then just add a little bit of woodwork around the, uh, the edge, some nail holes. Now I'm using some chipboard here um, and we're going to paint this silver or, or a metal color just to act as a little bracing here. Now I painted it brown and we're just doing a little bit of a dry brush to bring those colors up. And wash the metal as well with that nullin oil. Now when we're done, we'll paint the bottom of the, the water trough area, like a brownish green color, dark color. And using a little bit of Vallejo uh, water texture, just little bits, um, layers at a time. Place it in there, tease the bubbles out.
So you can modify that workbench real easy, simply by cutting out and carving that backboard and making it have pointy pieces on it or adding candles to make it look like a bench in a wizard's tower or an alchemist shop. If you want to see me craft those pieces that I put on the workbench out of green stuff, leave a comment below and let me know, and I'll do that in an upcoming video. And if crafting that stuff out of green stuff isn't your thing, you can always go online to places like Etsy, uh, Reaper Miniatures, Amazon, and uh, buy like loot crates. There's all kinds of options out there for you. I now have Patreon. Head on over there. Check that out. i got a bunch of different tiers. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Oh, wait. What was my next build going to be? Uh, anyway, till next time, I'll see you around. Wait a minute, that's it. I was going to build a black.